All right, guys, back where we built the road and the pad, the goal for today is to turn this hole into a usable pond. So here's the game plan for today. Got Jerry and Aaron with me. And basically we need to take, our plan is to take that side of the hole, finish the slope up there, and they've added a leveling up for a little carport over there. We're gonna take this side of the hole, slope it up, and build a dam right through here. Unfortunately, we do have one, two, three decent sized trees we're gonna have to remove uh, to get this dam in here and make it work the way it needs to work to uh, make it right but first things first i'm actually gonna dig a ramp up out of that hole so jerry can take the dozer and start pushing dirt up there while we're over here clearing trees that way we're all being productive and multitasking so let's hop in the 120 get us a ramp built and then we'll start uh, taking out these last few trees here so basically what i want to try to do here is just to get a ramp to where jerry can back down in that hole he can get back down in that hole he can take that dozer, it's not an ideal situation. He can take that dozer and start pushing dirt up out of there. Without my help, that'll give him an opportunity to continue to move dirt. While I go over and take those trees down the other side. Eventually at some point, hopefully we'll team up and I'll be able to swing the dirt for him. Kind of do the same thing we were doing with the skid steer when we built the pad.
got Jerry going over there. He's pushing up out of the hole, doing what he's can, making pretty good progress. We're trying to get these few trees down over here. I'm trying. There's not much room to work here. What I'm trying to do is trying to get them to all fall in the same place over there. We don't have a mess with tops everywhere, but I can't get behind them to push them the way I want to, so we kind of got to do the old uh, wiggle down method, possibly pull them towards this method. Stay up there, tree. Like, it's like you've been working a little bit. Did you spill water on you? Sure feels like it. You know, I was in a sauna all day yesterday. <laughs> Did, uh, I don't know what I'm calling this today. <laughs> I think you're calling that what you drank yesterday. Well, I drank about two, three gallons of water yesterday. <laughs> Them boilers are hot. <laughs> Flavored with Bud Light? <laughs> No, I didn't have no Bud Light last night. See what I did yesterday? I sweat all my Bud Light out from Saturday. Oh, yeah. So now you're under the water. water. I'm got gotcha. water now. Yeah. Did you see? So the air conditioning on your chainsaw is not working either. No, it wasn't working at all. Yeah, the air conditioning in the 120 still not working. Fan to kick on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, we are we're making some progress here. Jerry's actually got pretty good little area pushed up here for the uh, parking pad area or the carport area, we should call it. And as you guys can see, he's got managed to get the majority of this slope uh, right on the back side of the hole. We have got all the trees down on the back side of the dam. Uh, got ourselves somewhat organized. Got a brush pile, log pile, stump pile. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hop back on the 120 and go around there and kind of dig in a little keyway on the back side to make sure that we kind of start. That dam's only going to be like the pond's gonna be like 12 feet deep, but the dam's only gonna be like four feet tall. But I still want to key that in to the existing ground. So uh, Jerry's gonna rob all a little bit of dirty can. We got just uh, Aaron's already compacted that once. We got just a little bit, probably about six eight inches there in a few spots. That don't have to be perfectly level. That's actually gonna be on a little bit of a slope because I think they're gonna put one of those metal carports up there, and you want to make sure you got some you got some drainage on that. So, anyways, let's come in here. What I want to do is I want to step this down. So we'll take the subsoil, put it on the back side of the slope, and we'll cut a couple grooves and notches in that good clay. That way we can slope that in, hopefully roll it all with the compactor and, and get it all tied in nice and tight.
there's what it looks like from the top side right now, guys. Jerry has got Jerry's got enough dirt to do what he needs to do over there in the uh, carport area. We got this back slope on the back side of the pad pretty much uh, filled in. It's a little bit steeper than what I like, but it kind of is what it is. We're kind of limited on some set points we got to work around. As you guys see in the time lapse, I went all the way around and got that dug and pushed back. Basically, that dirt is good dirt for fill, but it's not good dirt for holding water. So we wanted to make sure it was on the back side of the dam, not on the water side of the dam. I did go ahead and take the compactor and run around there just to kind of compact what was there to make sure we didn't have any voids or anything. So what I'm going to do now is, let me get down here and turn around and show you. So basically what we're going to do now is I'll reach down here in the hole. We're going to grab this good dirt that we know is good dirt. We're going to bring it up here on top and basically make a lift out of it. Jerry, Jerry made the comment we must have had a good hot fire. It has baked that dirt right here to where it's like solid clay almost. We're going to be... We're gonna be tight on dirt. I think we can make it, but we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to beg, borrow, beg, borrow, and steal for every dirt cloud we can come up with to make this work. But basically, by doing this, we'll get a good, uh, we'll get a good layer of clay, which will basically be the core of our dam here on the water side. We should make this thing seal up nice and tight. I hope it holds water. This stuff here, this stuff here is some pretty good material. It's got a little bit of gravel in it, but not enough to be a concern. got myself worked about halfway around here and now Jerry's able to uh, I just kind of got that rough and stair stepped in but then Jerry's able to take out those and push straight on up there on the dam it's gonna be a little bit steep with it being a cut not a fill though I think it's gonna work out uh, I think it's gonna work out pretty good I better get back to swinging dirt before Jerry realizes I'm not moving starting to look more like a pond than it is a borrow pit. Jerry's gonna head up around top. That's that last lift we put in. He's gonna go ahead and bench that off. We're gonna let Aaron come in and compact it. And then I think we got enough dirt here left to do one more, one more lift, which should get us pretty close. Should get us pretty close to where we need to be.
Mustang does a nice job of uh, taking that dirt down in there and getting a good capacity. Just what the doctor ordered. shows up to you guys that's the difference between his first pass and his second pass it's like a three or four inch dipper right there where it's compacted looks pretty sharp better watch out where i get ran over like this that allows Jerry to come in and kind of tie into us and we'll fuzz that off on gray to get the compactor on here in a little bit but working good thumbs up Jerry that means we're gonna keep going Aaron did go around here with the laser he said we were about eight inches low with one spot but other than that we we're pretty consistent so that's uh that's good i guess for a guess good i guess for a guess does that make sense you guys follow along i'm sure you do Jerry's coming along the top, kind of buzzing, buzzing us off there. We don't have a set elevation on this. It's just get what we can get. So we're trying to kind of figure out where we're at, how much dirt we need to come up to uh, equalize ourselves out. So we'll see what we, I think we're plenty high right there to be honest with you. Of course, you say I'm plenty high now, but by the time you compact it and wallow around on it and everything else, who knows where we're at. Aaron's over there trying to figure out how to use the laser. We'll see if we'll get that figured out. <laughs> I should go over and just put the bucket between him and the laser. See how long it takes him to figure it out. So here's the mid-afternoon update, guys. We have pretty much got it buzzed around to about right here. This is where it gets real narrow. I don't have enough dirt, so Jerry's bringing me a little bit of dirt from the other side of the pond where I can grab and bring up. Matt actually went up there. I don't know if you guys can see there's some pink marks along the edge right there. That is actually going to be the water level, which is quite a bit higher up that slope than what I needed. But that tells Jerry, that basically tells Jerry where he can start digging at. So he's got a, he's got a benchmark where he's going to start digging. But Jerry's basically bringing me some dirt across the pond. We got probably about uh, 30, uh, probably about 30 feet of dam here to finish getting all gray. Then we'll compact it one last time and compact it one last time and get it shaped. This works pretty good because Jerry can push, Jerry can push downhill where he's efficient, and I can just pick it up, set it up here on top of the dam, and keep the process going. Looks like oh, Jerry's pretty close over there, ain't he? Looks like Jerry's pretty close, ain't he? Yeah, it's a continuous beep. I told the old man everything he knows. Your list of what you taught him is what not to do. My list is what you should do. We're both just lucky Jerry don't have a radio.
We're getting close, guys. We're getting close. Aaron's up there checking grade. Looks like he's about three or four inches high. Jerry's coming across with a dozer. The plan is on this pass is to get it somewhat close. Then we're going to compact the crap out of it. Then we'll bring the dozer back across and just do that little fine, minute tuning on it. It's real close. I thought maybe I was low in there, but I'm not. Oh, we're, no, we're actually high. All the way through, we got, got one little dip. Right there, see that little dip? That's it. That's not at all high. We just got to let you turn off, break this off, and roll point high, and then we'll get close and get close. close. Nice. We thought we'd be about four feet high here. That's almost exactly what we are. That is looking good, folks. That's looking real nice. trying to wrap, rob any dirt for the van. He's just trying to uh, get the inside all sloped and smoothed up. It's pretty much the grade. Jerry's putting the final tune, the final little few little touches on it. We got to kind of get it profiled a little bit, but for the most part, it's all good. I'm pretty much useless, useless down there in the track hill at this point, so I'm gonna grab some of this topsoil and kind of start getting it spread around. I can at least get it close for Jerry, so whenever Jerry comes back, he can just kind of kind of smooth it out a little bit. We don't have a whole lot that needs to be topsoiled. It's just kind of the uh, back slope of this pad right here is about all we got. So.
the finishing touches on our guys. Jerry's out there spreading all the topsoil I threw over. I'm kind of going along the edge here, just taking the track over, polishing up this back slope ever so slightly. I got a few little saplings here I need to take out. Should have took them out before, but I didn't want to take them out unless I had to. It looks like we're in the had to scenario at this point, so. It's going to clean up rather nicely though. Alright guys, close in on it. Jerry is uh, tracking in the inside of the dam with a dozer. He's about got it done. It looks pretty good. Aaron checked great on the dam. It was all good. So he's compacting it one last time with the, uh, with the compactor. I went around the track hoe and just kind of polished off that back slope there a little bit. Got everything kind of worked in around the trees. That turned out nice. You guys can see up there, Jerry's got the slope all painted up with the topsoil. That right there is the water line. So it's really late in the day. It's been a good productive day. So tomorrow we will come back. We need to get the overflow pipe in and a few loose edges tied up. And we'll have this girl wrapped up. I better get out of the way here. I'm going to get ran over. So. next day we are back we got our uh, pallets down there for a fire fire starter we're gonna throw some logs on it matt is on his way to go pick up some pipe that we need for the overflow we don't have a whole lot of brush it's just what a little bit we got out of here yesterday we're just gonna throw it all on there and let her go Woo, it is hot Like a 95 degree it's like a 95 degree day 100 percent humidity fire is blazing it is blazing it's hot and uh, we didn't think this through real well because we got to put the overflow pipe in right here where the fire is at actually we did think it through pretty well so we need to get that we get that burned up pretty quickly uh to get that going but matt just showed up with our pipe we're gonna cut a little notch across here and get it filled back in and we'll take the compactor and get it all tied back together real nice we're gonna go this pond is not this pond will not catch a whole lot of water it's gonna take a while for this one to fill up that's kind of by design so we're gonna only have about a foot of freeboard on this one because we don't really have to worry about it running over the dam that's not really a huge huge concern on this one I feel like we got 40 or 50 acres coming down into this in this pond We're gonna take her nice and easy, give her about a free freeboard is the amount of dam sticking out above the water. It's kind of your emergency reservoir capacity. You got a lot of water draining into a dam, you need more freeboard. You got just a little bit of water like what we got here, freeboard's not as big of uh not near as big of a concern. Hot. What do you think, Air Boss Man? Looks pretty good, huh? Yep, yep, looks pretty good right there. Matt got piped. Did you remember glue?
did end up setting up the laser. We went ahead and double checked the top of the dam. How'd I do there, boss man? Jerry would have had it within a quarter inch, but you're you're within three quarter to half inch. Half inch, half inch gas. Three I'll quarter to half. By the time we compact <laughs> that, it'll be perfect. You gotta leave it. You gotta leave room for compaction. <laughs> you gotta leave room for. Hey man, that fire is hot. Yes, yeah, it is. It's real hot. But it's getting smaller, so that's good. Aaron didn't believe me, so he had to set the laser up. Guess he was right. The laser. Well, yeah. <laughs> touche. <laughs> Everybody's happy with the elevation, so we're gonna get this pipe covered back up. That fire is about ready to roast me. It's hot. It's hot. So we're gonna get a little dirt across the top of this, and we'll run that compactor uh, on there and kind of make sure she's getting sealed off around there. It got hauled out. It's done moved on to another job. So we're gonna use the second best thing. I haven't used this thing in a while, but I uh, got the little 955 John Deere here with the uh, road grade on it, road drag, wherever you want to call it. It's not ideal with the dirt. The dirt today is dry enough that it will allow us to get by. So after Matt gets that compacted, we'll take this little girl. Polish up any imperfections. you decided to park the tractor right there Aaron that's a it's a good spot interesting I park. parking brake <laughs> it rolled I, there I was doing good till here and then then here seems to be an issue I think it gets a little steeper here I don't get any shallower <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and your attachment probably weighs half as much as the tractor. oh no attachment size perfect <laughs>
<laughs> hey, you made it about 10 foot from the last spot. I, I just gotta sit here and laugh. If you turn around and look, look at all the equipment we got yeah. sitting here. Yep. <laughs> there's one, there's but one. But this one hasn't been there's put on one. the hillside yet. But this one's more fun to drive. This is my favorite piece of equipment. Everything, In the lawn tractor. Of everything I own, of every piece of equipment I own, this is my favorite. It's your favorite. This is my favorite. This is my baby. Uh, now, I guess we can't really call that getting stuck because you got out. Now, I'm still not stuck yet. I'm just in a precarious situation. <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely there. Oh, man. Uh, Jerry's good at pulling you out. We can call him in. Good thing Jerry's out here. Right. Yep. If I can stay in this seatbelt, huh. huh. That's where it goes. My head, I'm using my safety device. <laughs> <laughs> A little further back. There you go. Oh, that was a God. <laughs> oh. All right, we'll do a take two on this one. Yeah. All right. See how this one goes. Hey, exactly. Right You're getting good at this. <laughs> oh, and here we are again. Oh, you, you, yeah, that's what you're doing. You need a little dirt right there so you're dragging it down. Oh, and you lost your phone. He's going through where he got stuck. He's doing it now. Just got back from lunch. Check that out. Fire is burning down. Fire is burning down really nice. Really nice. So, got us a load of rock. We got one little bitty section of the rock right here. You think I can do any better spreading on these than I did on the last ones? I hope so. You I got mean, your practice in now. <laughs> can't be any worse. You want me to put Captain on speed dial and I'll let him uh, talk at three on the mic? He may be better at spreading than what we're going to deal with here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor captain. Uh. 
go. A little slower, a little slower. That's about right. Now go a little bit. All right, drop her down. Stop. You got a little over half a load. Yeah, you got three quarter of a load yet. Just let you go. All right, go. Uh, slow down a little bit. Slow down a little bit. All right, drop it. Stop. Go. Easy, easy, easy. All right, easy, 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 easy. Keep going. You got a little bit coming out yet. All right. There it is. How'd I do? What's my day? I don't know, if you'd listened to me, you'd have had an A+, plus, but you, I kept trying to tell you easy, and you went just a little too fast, so, ah, I'm B to B+. Plus. Um, not bad, though, not bad. So, translation is perfect? It ain't dirt perfect. No, it is rock perfect. <laughs> There you have it guys, the rock is, uh, it's dumped. It needs to be polished up, which we'll get to. Fire's been pushed together one last time. It's burning up, absolutely beautiful. It is hot, man, it is hot. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hop on the little John Deere tractor. I'm gonna go around, polish up all the loose edges, get uh, what little loose ends we have tied up, and then I'll give you guys one final tour of this project, and we'll hit the road. Well guys, I think we finally got her. Let me give you a little tour here. We'll start down at the bottom. I did finally, I didn't give up on a little tractor. I did finally end up getting this slope right in pretty good for a little tractor. I could have brought the dozer down here, but it's so tall, the cab ends up in those trees and we had time to kill. So I played on the, I played on the little tractor. Like I said, that's, a, that's my favorite machine. So if I get a chance to run it, I run it. Really close second to being my favorite sealed 120. So you know it's a good job and you got your two favorites on the machine top of the dam turned out absolutely awesome it is it is still wide enough it's probably 10 feet wide across here nice little slope now it is pretty steep on the water side if this levee was actually pushed up i would not be comfortable with that steep a slope but you guys got to remember only the four feet of this this dam is only four feet tall that's basically just a big hole so uh don't have a whole lot of concerns of anything crazy going on there and we maximized the amount of water they'll be able to hold in there so one thing I want to hit on is this is what we would call basically a homestead pond. A lot of you guys ask why do we have all these little ponds in our area? And, it, and it's actually a great question. So where these folks live at, they do not have city water. Uh, you can drill a well, but it's hard to get high volumes out of wells around here. There's a lot of rock and the water is in an aquifer, which is basically a real porous rock. So you can get water, but it's, 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 it's what we call hard water. It's high in minerals and sulfurs and uh it's it, it's just hard to get large quantities on a, on a residential well unless you go really deep so these guys are wanting this pond because they're wanting to have some livestock they're gonna have a barn here have some livestock in them this will provide water for the livestock and they'll also have fire protection they have no fire protection here he's gonna buy a pump and uh, a nozzle so they'll have they'll have water for that so they'll also possibly provide a little swimming hole and some fishing so that's the purpose that's the purpose of the small pond. This one here will get put to good use when it does get uh, does get full. It is gonna take a while for this one to fill up. We're not catching a tremendous amount of water, which is a negative when you're wanting to fill the pond. But after the pond's already full, that's actually a positive because it, it keeps this water nice and clear. 
and all that good stuff. So that's kind of the purpose of it. And well, don't forget the point we needed the dirt for the pad. That's kind of a big, big factor too. Got our six inch overflow in. Again, we went with the six inch because we're not catching a whole lot of water. Don't have a whole lot of free boards. We're not catching a whole lot of water. So that's all, that's all good. We got our topsoil ran in on our slope. This turned out a little bit steeper than what I wanted, uh, but they're pretty happy with it. I guess they're gonna plant some wildflowers across there. And this uh, pole barn's gonna have a porch across the back so they can uh, set up a swing or something out there. So that should be all good. Pad is, uh, man, that thing is rock hard. It is, uh, it is ready for the builder. Everything's a go on this. I think the builder's showing up maybe one day next week to uh, get started on his pole barn. We transitioned the yard in up there a little bit. That's where the power rack would have been a little bit handier with all the roots and stuff, but we still got by. And I told them after they get the building up and all the other heavy construction traffic's in and out, we need to come up here and power wreck it. We'll come up here and power wreck it. We'll, uh, we'll take care of them. So driveway is all rocked. Uh, it turned out really nice. Got an area over here for carport slash parking. Good access for a trailer. We've had our trailer in and out of here a few times now. And plenty of room to do, do what they need to do. Fire is almost burnt out. I am almost burnt up. It has been roughly hot the last couple days. Man behind the scenes is loading up equipment. So guys, we're going to call it a wrap. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, catch you on the next one.